All right. How y'all doing YouTube? I'm gonna do a real quick, and I try to make this quick video on my trailer <clears throat> that I put together to haul my Old Town D106 PDO. Okay, first of all, this is a Northern Tool trailer, uh, the aluminum one, um, which is uh, highly modified, which you can see. So I'll go over one thing at a time really quickly. Try not to make this video long. First thing I did is I replaced the tongue. The tongue on this was very short. This is a two and a half square tube steel um, piece of metal. I think I have it 11 feet long. Um, and I ran it all the way to the back, all the way back there, where the other one only goes up halfway. I took the tongue, which uh, fit the other one, fit right on there. You bolted the tone chains on there. I bought this at Northern Tool for 30 bucks. A little roll around stand for the trailer and makes it easy when hold it down. <clears throat> Next thing I did is I bolted on these, the, uh, I forget what these are called, U-channels or whatever this is. Um, very heavy, you can use lighter ones if you want. But that's what I put on the front and the back to mount my my three and a half inch tubes. <clears throat> These are three and a half inches. Put caps on them. You can see I painted them, but the paint uh, wears off when you're uh, taking the kayak off and on. No big deal. It was just for aesthetics anyway. I also uh, had some extra boat carpet and put that on there to uh, just make it look nice, a little bit more protection. Okay, on top, what you see here is the, uh, these are made for trucks on the back of the truck, uh, truck mounts. Uh, you gotta be careful when you're ordering these because this trailer is only a four by four trailer. So you have to order the small ones for a small truck. So uh, ordered those. Uh, I'll try to put a link on the bottom. I forget how much they were. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, took it and bolted it to the frame. Uh, as you can see from the front, they bow out. When you, when, you, when you get these, they're made to go in. So you have to reverse, kind of reverse everything. So I did that, bolted everything down <clears throat> three ways. Excuse me. Eye bolts, which you'll see in a minute. Why eye bolts? Put those on. You can tell, I don't know if you can, hopefully you can in the video, but the pole in the middle here is different from this. Why, why is that? The pole that comes with it, if you have these turned in like they're supposed to, it fits in there. But as soon as you turn them out, it creates extra width and doesn't fit. So it went down to Home Depot, uh, into the uh, conduit section, got a metal pole, I think it was 10 feet for uh, 20 bucks, I think it was, and uh, measured that, cut it, and fit fit right in there. Painted it, painted it black, so just to make it look better. Has some little set screws, and uh, put them right in. Moving to the back, put some little um, 90s on there just to uh, help it slide up better. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. It's worked so far, but. Um, I thought they were going to catch here. Move around to the other side. Now either you can do this or not, um, personal preference. Um, but what I did when I did the eye bolts on the other side, I went and put these um, retractable ratchet straps on here uh, and made it, uh, bolted them on there so they're not, they're not coming off. <clears throat> but it's just, um, it's just kind of easy. Pull them out, wrap it to the other side. Come back over, strap it down, and when you're done, you can press that little red button in. When you press it, it releases and it winds it back in. It's pretty handy. Works out good. I got one in the front and the back. Tires, I know some of you guys are asking. Um, these are rated. 
Um, on the sticker it said 45, but um, I personally seen going down the interstate with uh, other, um, other people using this trailer, uh, modified to carry lawn equipment, ATVs, all kind of stuff. <clears throat> and they were doing at least 80 on the interstate. I don't plan on um, really going that fast with the kayak or that far. Um, as a precautionary measure, what I did is I took the packing grease or the grease that comes in the uh, wheels, in the bearings, excuse me, and uh, I took that out and repacked it with some um, uh, mo uh, mo better grease, for lack of a better term, some mo better grease. Some higher, uh, higher temperature you know, wheel bearing grease It's made for, made to last a little longer. <clears throat> Just as a precautionary measure. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, River did the um, necessary plates on the front, then and all that stuff like that. So I hope this video helps. Hope it uh, inspires you to, uh, if you're thinking about doing a trailer or whatnot, um, total build. I know people are asking about the money. Uh, I, I think I have less than $700 into this, less than um, the total thing. Uh, so I'm in the process, you can see me in the background of the video here and there, making some rod tubes. I got a eight inch one and I got a six inch one um, that I built. Uh, depending on where I'm going or what type of rods I need, that's what tubes I can put on there. I may mount both of them on there. But anyway, again, hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, leave uh, comments below. Have a good day.